hi everyone and um, this is just going to be a um well just a look at the door contact and passive infrared so um i've wired the passive infrared and door contact up in my summer house and um, everything's wired up everything seems to be working i am now at the point where i can arm the system and it won't go off but I have switched it off just to be on the safe side because I don't want to go down in the middle of the night and switch it off. So here's the box just here. It came with my Hermes. Um, I'm not going to get any more specific than that because I don't know all the details. Um, you can see, just have a look at, I'll just show you some pictures. So we've got at the bottom, we've got door window. Second passive infrared, third, that, and then obviously the light of this on me. It makes it look very 80s, like cool looking. Um, luckily, my keypad, well, my keypad slash panel hasn't blown up yet, so I'd say that was a good sign. We got that's keypads, it actually makes a really, really nice noise when it goes off and outside um watch bb grooves video and um i, I watched his video of the micro mark and it doesn't sound at all like it that is absolutely ep seeing and it's more high pitched so i'm not sure what's going on but we got the contents two zone control panel Two hardwired door contacts, two hardwired PIR motion detector sensors, 12 volt mains adapter, low power siren, um, 40 metres of free core alarm cable, fixing and screws, wall plugs, and full colour insulation and news guides. So, pretty basic. Um, I, everything's pretty much installed. All of the control panels in place, all I've got to do is move it over a little bit because we don't have enough wire for something so um there we are but all that's needed to do is put all the wires in the back which, which will just take me about probably half an hour if that me maximum half an hour minimum five minutes probably so um there we are now i'll make a video when it's all fully done so like when it's all, all done i'll um do a video but um, if anyone decides to buy one of these, um, I would wear ear defenders because that is absolutely ear piercing. Even though I've got that outside, it ain't that ear piercing inside. To be honest, it's quite a cool noise what it makes. I mean, it sounds like a bit like a Euro set guard tick, but only a tiny bit, and that's when it's entry and exit. Entry and exit. Um, there you are. Control panel. Um, 110 decibel. But um, I will. I will be definitely doing a video of it going off and and all that. So um, there we are. And um, that's enough of the box. Got some more pictures there. So. Got you. I have used one of these, uh, very very dinky these are, the screw bit and it's an absolute bugger to get out so excuse my French by the way but they are really difficult to get out. These are quite easy to wire up, um, like you've seen my other shed alarm, well no, well you, you didn't but my other shed alarm that I had when I was showing you my alarm shelf, that box, it had the same door contact. So what I've done is, the magnet was already on, so I decided to just use that. Because I'm not taking a magnet off then putting it back on. That's pretty much like it. So, yeah, I, I think that's about it. What you can do, although it says two zone, I've edited the instructions. What you can do is... Both the door contacts onto zone one, both the passing grids on that. So it'd cover a small house. Um 
it probably might cover our house. Well, because we've got a yard and we've only got um, two bathroom fridges and two door contacts and a box and a keypad, well, slash panel. So, um, it might do if we had one, like back then when there was new, it might do for our house, but you know, it also might not. So um, there we are. Um, it takes a nine volt battery in there, and um, that that that's about it. Yeah. Um, I've noticed that LED comes on when it's going off. Yeah. So um, there we are. Bit tatty box. It's still sent to be that musky smell. I, I don't mind that musky smell. I mean, I think it's a sign of the 80s and the light of the 80s smell. Well, the 80s, 90s. Well, whenever these come out, you sometimes get get them when. Um, no offence if the sellers watching this. I don't think they will be though. Um, but it's normally older people that have it. Like, um, well, my nan's neighbour has kind of a smell, and my other one that lives about that lives one door down, she's got kind of that smoky, smoky sort of smell that really musky smell, like it's been in, been in like an attic for like ages, absolutely ages. So, there we are. But, this has got a different kind of smell. It's a nice, it's a nice smell. Well, that's my opinion. It's quite, it is quite eighties, nineties when the first came out. So um, there we are. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.